Y'all want to see the coolest gift ever? Oh yeah. Thank you, Brittany. I hate children on the internet, or really just in general. I wanted to do this video a little while ago, when uh, Danielle Brigoli and Woe Vicky were just getting big, but I decided to wait a little while, because I figured if I held off for a bit, there would be just a little bit more gold around the corner. Well, I guess I waited a little bit too long, because everyone uploaded the same video this week. Whatever, fuck it, I'm gonna do it anyway. I've been, like, staying away from the Danielle Brigoli subject, mostly because I'm terrified of being roasted by a 14-year-old girl and Stan Twitter. You're not cute, bro. Stop bitch. It. Jacob fucking Rex Taurus, or the fuck's name is. Danielle, you have gone too far. You do not touch Jacob Sartorius. Ha! Ah, there is a kid around the corner who might be working harder than you. You're gonna take the kid and you're gonna kill him! <laughs> And everybody's talked about it. You know who Danielle Bergoli is. You know who Woe Vicky is. Bitch, I just bought a billion dollar helicopter. You bitches still taking a bus. Hold, hold on one second. Oh, 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 no. You bitches still walking. Right. Bitch, I'm an 18 year old billionaire. But this little asshole put me over the edge. This fucker has been on my radar for a bit and posted a video that just grinds my gears. This little Tay, let me tell y'all something. This shit costs more to your rent. My toilet costs more to your rent. Everything in my bathroom costs more to your rent. And see, this is my closet. Everything in my bathroom costs more to your rent. Physically hurts to watch this shit. This is Lil Tay. You know who she is. Everyone's been talking about her this week. Lil Tay was that kid in elementary school that everyone hated. You know, like the really rich one, except not really rich, like their parents were rich, but they were kids, so none of that money's theirs. Tay's not rich. She's not. That's not her money. None of it. I like to call this the flex culture. We're basically at the point where, you know, stupid internet rappers and YouTubers and other internet personalities just flex the shit out of all their personal belongings like a status symbol. I can't stop looking at this crazy, crazy creation. You guys leave a comment down below if you're stoked. It's a fucking table. You ever see Supreme Live in the flesh on my face? You'll never have any of it, and they want you to know. That expensive car, you'll never see one like it. That Gucci belt, you'll never wear one of those. See that view? Y'all don't have that view. See this? These are butterfly wings. Y'all haven't seen this car in your lives. Uh, actually, Tay, I have seen that car before. You see all this great stuff I've got? You'll never come close. I'm better than everyone. I want you to drill that into your head. Flex culture. And next time you watch one of these shitty videos, I want you to think that. I want you to think flex culture, and I want you to comment it. Like, just hashtag flex culture. Can we get that, can we get that going? Lil Tay's the perfect example here. Like, I really want to believe that she's not real. I want to believe someone is giving her all this money and making all these videos and stuff because they're trying to prove some kind of point or parody something. But at the same time, she represents, like, everything that I believe, like, flex culture to be, essentially. Like, whether she's real or not, too, someone out there watches this kind of stuff and believes it. Like, there's like this clearly staged video of her, you know, smacking a cake in this old dude's face on a scooter. But what really makes me think that Lil Tay isn't exactly serious is this little bit right here, this like motivational bit. When I was six years old, I lived in Atlanta and I was broke as hell. But one day I woke up, I said to myself, I ain't gonna be broke no more. So I got up and I started working hard, moving bricks, and now we be living in the hill. See that view? Y'all don't have that view. And I work hard. So if y'all work hard, y'all can accomplish your dreams just like I did. So I'm working hard. Working hard. Don't make no sense. Yeah, yeah. She's clearly got this adult camera person that's probably her mom or her dad. Maybe this is supposed to like be inspirational, but it's appealing to that modern that modern youth language or, or style with this whole flex thing going on. But it, it just comes off as so bizarre. Like who's gonna take advice? 
from this nine-year-old on the internet just spouting curse words, talking about money that she's made moving bricks. Like, what is the target demographic here? What is the Lil Tay target demographic? I genuinely want to know. Lil Tay, if you see this, hit me up on Twitter. Shoot me a DM. Just stop reporting my videos. I have a dream. I'm trying to make my mom proud. I'm trying to spread positivity. I'm trying to spread positivity. You'll never have this. You'll never see this. You don't got this view. Just doesn't seem very positive to me personally. I can imagine some kid out there watching these like Lil Tay most savage compilations, you know, completely missing the inspirational parts and just seeing the flexing shit. And like her mom comes in like, honey, can you please clean your room? You broke ass bitch. Why are you coming in here telling me what to do? Don't come at me till you're wearing Gucci. She's waving around like the iPhone 8 Plus that her mother so wisely bought her so she wouldn't have to raise the kid herself. I could go on and on about Lil Tay and like react to her videos if I wanted to and just talk about it. But like that's not the point of this video. Another dude that people don't seem to be talking about very much is this guy that I came across on Twitter called Little Drop Top Golf Cart. His ad's Drake is my cousin. Just look at some of this. Hey, what up, bitch? It's Lil Drop Top, ho. Hey, I'm the youngest millionaire, bro. I'm the youngest fucking millionaire, bro. Foot little pump. I'm the youngest flexor, bro. 19 and I'm thumbing, bro. Hey, it's 14 year old flexor, bro. Bitch. <laughs> What the fuck, man? I really don't know what to say about this. It's almost unreal. And if you look through his Twitter feed, it's just him quoting a bunch of the tweets about him. It's like so self-aware. This can't be a real person. Like, I highly doubt he's even 14. But it's so hard to tell. Yeah, look at me, I got money! I got money on Rich Man! Fuck Drake! Fuck- <laughs> Lil Pump! Fuck Lil Yachty! I'm the rich and <laughs> I don't know- what is real and what's not at this point? Like, the world has just become a parody of itself. Danielle Broccoli, Whoa Vicky, Lil Drop Top Golf Cart, Lil Tay, it all just comes back to the internet. It shows what the masses are watching, you know, where the consumers are going. And the consumers are getting younger and younger and younger. Investors have begun pressuring Apple to build more child protective tools into their phones and tablets and software. And it struck this whole debate over whether or not technology is safe for young kids. Yeah, yeah, we're just now having that debate. Take a look at this article. Apple needs to stop kids from getting hooked on phones. Oh, it's Apple's job. Apple needs to save my kids. What kind of bullshit is that? Instead of begging the iPhone company to make iPhones more friendly for children, why don't you just not give your kid an $800 piece of internet? How, How about, about that? that? All these parents that are like up in arms, like, oh, it's a technology that's destroying our children. Like these are the same parents that bought their five-year-old an iPad for Christmas. Like there's a reason that we have laws around driving, for instance, right? You don't give a 12-year-old the keys to your minivan, right? Because it's dangerous. All right, there you go. Kaya, 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 stop! Oh, it's the same thing. There's a reason that websites require you to enter your age and be 13 years old to sign up for. Because it's not healthy. If you give your children expensive technology at an early age, I'm absolutely calling you out because it's disgusting and it's lazy parenting. Stop it. I want to end this video on a good note. So I'm just going to play this clip for you guys because this is okay, this is the one little Tay clip that I actually really like and I'm going to share it with you guys. You want to run somewhere? Oh, don't walk in front you of her. You want to run somewhere? Let them talk. You can be not like that. But hey, put your shoes on. Why don't you put your bag down? Oh, what's up? Yeah, you can do that. Like that. No, no, no. What's up, Vicky? No, no, no. Don't start talking because I'm in the middle. What's up? There she is. There she is. What's up? I love that. What's up? Okay, but yeah, good. Call her. 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 What is going on, dude? Look at the- just look at the blank stare. This gets me every time. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, don't forget to check out- Wait, I'm gonna do this right. I'm gonna get this right. That is where the card's gonna be. Check out some of my other videos, my best playlist. Uh, check out my last upload. I forgot what it was. Send shit to my P.O. box. I will open it. I will open anything. All right? Send me your baby brother. Send me your dog. And that's going to be it. I'm out.
Uh, look at my African-American over here. Look at him. Are you the greatest? 